fight for this light heavyweight title fight. John Jones, as we've mentioned many times, 23 years old, six years younger than Shogun Hua. There's that reach, Joe. 84 and a half inches. Eight and a half inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Section by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board with Chairman Tony Orlando, Commissioner Aaron Davis, and Counsel Nick Limbo. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Douglas Clark, Cardo Urso, and Dave Torelli. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. In time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record, 12 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record, 19 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending USC undisputed light heavyweight champion, Mauricio Shogun. All right, gentlemen, you get over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. Touch gloves, make it official. Shogun and Jones are main event of the evening for the light heavyweight title. Flying knee early. Red trunks for Jones, head kick. White right. trunks for Shogun. Right away, Jones opens up wild. Creative, unorthodox. Misses but it also can leave there. you exposed. Big takedown. And what Shogun likes to do is dive under Mike and get an underhook on the opposite leg. He's got half guard on the right leg of John Jones. If Jones can get in position, his elbows are lethal. See him diving under? See him looking under? Look for him to attack with leg locks. Very good with him. Submitted Kevin Randleman, a very powerful wrestler with a brutal leg lock. He's throwing legs up, looking for a triangle. It's going to be very hard to do with the height and reach of Jones. But he's pushing that arm through. Perhaps could switch it to an omoplata if the arm goes across. Tricky bottom game here by Shogun. Shogun has to be careful of these chokes by Jones, though. Jones got a hold of his neck here. If he clasps those hands together, it could be problems for Shogun. Jones finished Ryan Bader with the guillotine choke. And Jake O'Brien put him to sleep as well. Full guard here. Now Shogun has to look out for the elbows. There it is. He comes from such great angles with such force with those elbows. Well, he's got so much leverage because of his length. And he's pressing Shogun up here, up against the cage. And Shogun again, looking at the legs of John Jones, and he's going to want to dive under. See how he, notice how he reaches with that underhook? And that's what he wants to do. He wants to kick his hips under, 
and dive under those legs, and in which time he will either try to sweep, like right here he's trying to sweep. He just can't the base of John Jones. Jones is so strong. Stay on the eyes. He will try to sweep or he will try to switch to a leg lock. Shogun Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt after only four years. Jones 12 and 1 in his MMA career. The elbow. Title fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I guarantee you that Shogun, for the last six weeks, has been working off of his back unquestionably. Knew that he was probably going to get taken down by this great wrestler. Jones just simply looking to overpower the light heavyweight champion. Under Don't two in the round. The Shogun trying to get back to the feet, but he's giving up his back in the process. The knee. Nice knee. And another one. Oh, good left, left hand. hand. Jones looking to tee off. Shogun's hurt. He's hurt, Mike. He's wobbled. Jones again with the right hand. 90 seconds left in round one. Shogun is pressing forward, Mike, but he is hurt. Look how wobbly he is. Yeah, he took a big shot there against the cage. I like how John Jones throwing that side kick to the thigh. Nice knee by Jones. Jones ducks under. To the body. Nice knee with the, the knee. Another right hand connects. Another side kick to the knee. What a start for Jones. Jones looks like he's a full weight class bigger than Shogun, Mike. Combination by Shogun. Nice right hand by Shogun. And a nice left hook by Shogun. He's going to dive under for a leg lock, and he lost the position. Very bad. Under 30 seconds. I think he just headbutted him in the stomach. I think he did. Fifteen. Big first round for the challenger. Breathe, 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 keep your distance, breathe, keep up, breathe, 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 come on, breathe. And here we see John Jones landing a vicious knee to the body and then a kick to the face and then caught him with a left hook as well and then another left hook and Shogun was staggered from that. Man, John that Jones. knee to the body. Yeah, vicious. And he's just having his way with Shogun. Round two. Against one of the most dangerous men on the planet. Checked. Man, he's so forceful. That teep to the face. Anderson Silva like. Silva finished the fight against Belfort. Big wind up by Shogun there. Telegraphed it, and John just ducked right out of the way. Back elbow up against the cage. I mean, it's stuff like that. He's just so creative in there. Unlimited potential. And he looks very relaxed now, Mike, too. Inside leg kick and then high kick. Shogun pushing forward. Shogun is just too slow, though. You know, when he's coming in, he's lunging in with these punches. He looks already exhausted. 
And this is a five-round fight. And Jones is taking a lot out of Shogun early. Keeping him at distance with that left hand. Again to the body. Shogun tying up with him, though, just does not seem like a good idea. And then he disengages. Jones trying to block those knees of Shogun when they were together. May of 2010, Shogun's last fight when he won the title against Machida. Knocking out the Dragon. No leg kick so far from Shogun. One of his best weapons. Jones, the lead hook to the body. Shogun with an answer. See, he has to charge in, though, to land those, Mike. And that's the difference. John Jones is hitting him from, like, the next block. And Shogun has to rush forward to try to hit him. Walks in with the elbow. My goodness. To the body. There's the leg, leg kick. kick and takes it. Big shot by Jones. Thus the hesitation to throw the leg kicks. He's covering up Shogun's mouth and nose here. Which is totally legal. But really sucks for Shogun. When you're that exhausted, nice elbow. Jones made his professional fighting debut at age 20, had six wins in three months, five knockouts and a submission. His only loss was by disqualification to Matt Hamill in a fight that he had dominated. Jones throwing elbows to the body of Shogun. Ninety seconds on the clock in round two. A nice short elbow there by Sh by Jones and Shogun is bleeding from his mouth and his nose. And Shogun is again trying to dive under. He's got that half guard. And John Jones is not allowing it. Nice short elbow again from Jones. And a lot of pressure with that left arm on the neck of Hua. Working from half guard. Jones consistent but also patient with his ground and pound. He knows the talents of Hua on his back. Well, he's so confident right now too, Mike. He's, he's really having his way with Shogun. And because of that, he's not getting tired despite the moment, you know, this being such a huge event for him. He's fine with it all. Takes a look up at the clock. And now Shogun's trying to dive under with that underhook, but it's so hard to do on a bigger, stronger guy. Jones had Shogun in trouble early, and he's continued to apply the pressure. He's beating Shogun's face up here. A nice elbow to the body. It's two rounds in the books for John Jones. And Joe, if he had any doubt, that drop down for a leg lock coming in, man. They left his mind with the way he started this fight, John Jones. And who expected him to just do that? Try to go for a leg lock. I mean, that's how unpredictable this kid is. In the dome, John. Your time. He's feeling a lot tired. You hear me? You're winning this fight. Greg Jackson. Now look at this, when Mike. When was the last time you saw someone do that? Up against the cage. Beautiful spinning elbow. And then a jab from, like, a state away. And there's that beautiful straight left. The reach advantage is just so tremendous. And here's the end of the round.
He spun around, went for a leg lock, and hit him with a hammer fist in the face. Two dominant rounds for Jones, but Shogun is a champion for a reason. Don't ever count out the heart of a champion. Man, we saw with Anderson Silva, round five against Chael Sonnen. Round three, Shogun and Jones. Shogun's got to try to find a way to keep this on the feet and land something. On the ground, he has nothing. Jones is just too big, too strong. Through the late kick and got taken down in round two. His face is slowly becoming a swollen mess. Uppercut, followed by the hook. Round three. Title fight. Just missed with a head kick. Now Shogun. And again, he dies for those legs. This is where Shogun can be very dangerous. Yeah, he almost got him on his back. Isn't it funny? John Jones was almost in a bad position. He's got a Kimura attempt here. Shogun's in a lot of trouble if he can yank that up. It's a man against boys. I mean, this is just the story of every John Jones fight. Greco-Roman All-American, Junior College National Wrestling Champion. Was recruited to wrestle at Iowa State. And he has tossed around some of the finest wrestlers in MMA. Three and a half. Another big Man. shot from the guard. Have you ever seen somebody tee off like that with punches? And the way, again, that he comes with those elbows, Joe, generates so much force, so much torque, comes at so many different angles. Tonight is the night. All John Jones. Shogun is just trying to hang on. But Jones is all over him. Brutal knee to the body. Allows him to stand up and then jumps all over him. Vicious left hook and then a knee. And Herb Dean mercifully rescues Shogun. He's the leader of the new, of the next generation. Yeah, that, that really is it. Man. John Jones, the new UFC light heavyweight champion. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 37 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by TKO, and now, a new...